it's your old buddy Michael Chip here playing Trains 2019 Platinum, Platinum Edition. Edition. And this is the CNO Hinton Division, episode 47. Um, now, if you're thinking to yourself, didn't we just do this in episode 46? What we're looking at right now? Was it episode 46? I think it was. In a recent episode? Yeah, yeah, it is, uh, because this is the big boy that we downloaded that I liked better than the previous big boy. And then one of my viewers said, why don't you go to Train Forge? And I went to Train Forge, and I found what I think is a better big boy. Yeah. All right. So uh, we are going to uh, look at this one once again, this, this first one. Here's the bell. There's the bell. There we go. Kind of that recorded kind of a sound to it. And then there's this, the whistle. Not bad. It's got a hiccup in it. Now we'll move it forward. No, no, no. No, no, no. There we go. And revealing behind it. Move that. Big boy is the one from Trains Forge. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. This was free from their site, too, believe it or not. Okay. This is the Trains Forge one. Now, you notice this one is shiny. It's shiny, and it reminds me, um, this part here, of the pants that Trinity wore in uh, The Matrix. If you don't know what I'm talking about, it's I. Over here, you notice this is a Union Pacific, and someone wrote me that uh, one of my viewers said that the only big boys ever used were used by Union Pacific. Uh, now, what would a Union Pacific train be doing over here on the East Coast? Um, well, see, this is not the Union Pacific. There is a town near here uh, named Union Pacific. Are, are you buying that? Pro probably. Okay, so what we're going to do now is look at the deets on this one here. You can see it's not shiny. Look at this, Nat. Look at that. Locomotive, American a Locomotive Company. Isn't that nice? It's got this. It's got dynamic numbers on it. You can see where the firebox is. There's the firebox. Uh, but, of course, then we have the sounds that are associated with it. Let's, let's listen to the bell first. Okay, nope. That's the wrong train. There we go. We're still on the other one. I can say, sounds a lot like the other one, but that's not it. Okay, so uh, here, and I'll try it again now. The bell. The fast pace bell. And then the whistle. Got a hiccup in it. That's awesome. I like that. like the whistle and the bell better on this one. And now let's move it forward. Nice. Look at it. Look at it. Now we're going to back it up. I suppose you should do this, right? We'll back it up even with our other ones. All these engines are waiting to be... Uh, Broken down by Thomas in his twin 44 tonners. But this is a nice model. I really like this model. Out of the three models we had, this is my favorite so far. There may be other ones out there that are better. I don't know. Uh, but this is a really nice model. Uh, thanks to the fine folks at Trains Forge. And thank you to the fine person. Um, th I, 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 I want to throw out a name here. I think it was Justice Long. I could be wrong. I'm sorry if it is, uh, but I think that's who suggested the Trains Forge to me. I've known about the Trains Forge, uh, but I forgot about it. And then when he said I went, oh, yeah, got got to go look at that, and I did. All right. Uh, so we got to clean this one up now. Can we, uh, what can we do with this engine? Uh, people? Uh, we could... Uh, drive it out, or no? I'll probably just I'll probably just erase it. Okay, I'll probably just delete it. All right, so uh, let me put you on uh, pause, 
and so I can delete this train, and then we'll get this session going. Back in them days, travel by rail was all so important for lots of folks. They didn't have other ways of getting around that were convenient, so we all would get down to the train station and board ourselves a train. Oh, I used to... What is this guy wearing? He's got dungarees on and some kind of life vest. Oh, boy, that ruined everything. Okay, so we're here with... Um... Who's this? Adair. Adair is in his uh, passenger train. Uh, he is currently sitting at Quinamont. Um, and oh, look, there's cars parked over there. Uh, and uh, now he's got to go on to his next station. And you notice he has a caboose on the end. You're probably wondering why Why would he have a caboose on the end? This is a passenger train. Because I like it. Okay? That's why. All right. Uh, so now uh, we are going to head on out. Uh, to our next stop, which is going to be Prince, which is only two miles away. I think it's right around the corner here, to tell the truth. So uh, let's get him going. There he goes. Very nice. He is on his way. Carrying his Chesapeake and Ohio train cars. And there's a caboose. Oh, oh! For those of you who don't, you know, who know a caboose should not be on the end. Ignore this caboose. Just ignore it. Okay, here he is now. Uh, in the upper right-hand corner, you can see the time is uh, fifteen forty-eight right now, and we're gonna watch this for three minutes. That's gonna put us at fifty-three. No, we're going to watch this for five minutes. That's going to put us at 53. <laughs> Here he goes. There's a 35-mile-an-hour marker right there. I suppose we could uh, run ahead and make our own uh, scene. Oh, look at that bridge. Oh, look at this. So Sweet. <clears throat> I wish my throat wouldn't have done that because I could have went, so wheat. Yeah, there it goes. Look at that. Isn't that nice? That's such a pretty shot. That's nice. There we go. Not a whole lot of traffic out on the rails right now. And I know some people have still been saying I should have through trains going through. Yeah, yeah. I'm still really seriously considering that, having through trains coming through on this route. A lot of crackle popping going on right now with the sound. Oh, he's slowing down now. 20 mile an hour. Yeah, I think the station's right around the corner here. Prince. Yep, there it is. This is a rather large station, too. Here he comes. Nice. Must be a vintage car show in town. Look at all those uh, Chevys. 57 Chevys. Or 55s. I don't know. Oh, no, wait. It, that's the current year in this game. It's not an old... It would be a new car show. Well, used, probably, in most cases. We are here. Okay, so he's unloading and loading. The people are piling on and off like crazy. 
Uh, in Quinnamont, we picked up 37. This is the larger station here. We're going to pick up 120 people. That sounds about right. Okay. Uh, so we're ready to go now. Now he's got to go to Thurman next. So uh, let's get that going. Yes, I know it would take longer for the passengers to get on and off. All right. We're kind of just moving things along here. <laughs> where are you at, Thurman? Thurman first, right? That's where we're going? Yeah, that's where we're going now. Uh, let's do this so we can watch it pull away. Help us get down a little bit lower. There we go. He's on his way to the next station. Was he got a red or something? Seems like it. He does. The dwarf is saying red. It says line ahead is unsignaled. Is he waiting to switch this way? Or see, this one's not thrown correctly. That's what it was. Okay. Did I throw that switch? I'm not sure why I would have thrown that switch, but maybe I did. I don't know. I'm throwing switches so often I can't keep track of them all. Here we go. Into the tunnel. Seems odd that this one track, and I did not do this, is over here. It doesn't have to go through a tunnel. Why wouldn't they bend all the tracks over this way so they wouldn't have to tunnel it? Huh. I don't know. There we go. Into the tunnel. To warn the folks inside, look out. Here we come. Do you run a bell inside of a tunnel? I don't know the answer to that. Uh, this is not an ideal. Uh, look at this. Huh? Look at this. We're just chugging along here. There are different views. All right, look, we look at this. Look at this. Look at this. Ooh. Hanging the head out the window view, huh? Oh, sorry. Didn't mean to stare at you. Look at you. Look, see the back of the train coming around the corner? I know it's 53 right now. Let, let's wait until we emerge. Oh, if I go like this, it's going to go back. Oh, that's an even better view. Ooh. What view is this? Hanging off the tender? Uh-oh. Graphic anomalies. We're back on top again. Oh, now we're on this. This is a better side. Yeah, yeah. Look at this. Ah, those guys must have had kinks in their necks, huh? Spine problems from leaning over all the time. All righty. Okay, so uh, that is going to end our little ride here with the dare. I'll put you guys back on pause, figure out what we're doing next. And we are now here with Andrew. Uh, we've been here before. This is the uh, Mount Hope Garden Ground Mine outside of Thurman. All right, uh, so he's got 35 coal cars. He just hauled them up here. They're all empty. He's got to fill them all. Uh, so what we're going to do is we are going to come over here. We're going to apply the handbrake. Very good. And now we are going to pull forward past this switch here, which we got to put back to normal. Here we go. Whoop, wrong, wrong controls. There we are. Here comes Andrew. This switch is going to have to be reversed. That's right. There's that Y I made. All right. Get him up past this switch here. Awfully smoky. There we go. Now we're going to back it up. All 
right, so we're going to go through here. Through here. Yeah, yeah. All the way back here. Hey, look at that. It's already set right. What do you know? Okay. And it says 10, but we're going to go with 15. Here on microchip rails, uh, it's understood that 10 actually means 15. Now, why not just post 10? Or post 15, I say. Why would you post 10? Because that way, when uh, a foreign railroad is running on our rails, they drive five mile an hour, five miles an hour slower than we do. We get the goods delivered quicker. See that? Yeah, it's an underhanded business practice, but that's what we do. Now, uh, how many foreign rails have we actually had using our tracks? None, but that's no reason not to be, you know, prepared for that possibility. I'm going to have a Southern Pacific uh, engine here pushing these B&O trains on a C&O layout. Yeah, I, I don't get it either. Oh, nice, nice, nice. He's got 35. Here we go. Let's go on this side so we're not smacking into trees all the way back. Slow it down here. Hey, do we are uh, going the wrong way? Here we go. There we go. Come to a stop. Throw the switch. Coming forward. He's just going to open it up. There we go. He's got a little ways to go. Yeah, let's, let's stick with the engine because that's too far to wait. That's too long to wait to see train action. We can still speed it up a little bit more yet, can't we? Well, there it is right there. <laughs> Maybe I chose to speed it up at the wrong time. Now, we can't, we can't slow down too late on this. Those guys in the caboose are going to be smashed into the front of the uh, caboose. If we hit them going that fast. We're going to be paying workman's comp from now until whenever. There we go. Nice and easy. And smoky. down a little bit more. Let's get over here on front. Nice. There we go. Boom. Stop it right there. We'll run all the way back to the front. There we go. Now, uh... Jeez, I feel like there should be another crossover track here. It's noisy over here. Yeah, uh, I forget how many cars we can fit on here. Look at this thing here. It's like an airplane hangar almost. Nothing in there. Got nothing in there. Got nothing for me in there. All right, so, uh, yeah, we're going to have to go here. And I throw that. I did. Okay. No. 
In the past, I've been shocked at that noise, but I am no longer because listener explained to me, a uh, listener, a viewer uh, explained to me that that's because the caboose is now considered to be at the front of the uh, thing. Now, what if I hit the bell? Nothing. All right. So now we have 35 cars. Yeah. So... Uh, what are we going to do here? I guess it depends on how many cars we can fit going on this track. You know, like split them in half is what I'm talking about. Let's see. Uh, let's see how this fits. And how many cars we can get. I'm oh, sorry. Oh. See how many we can fit underneath the tipple. Zero point zero. No defects. Total axles. Two eight. Train speed three five. MPH. Detector out. Okay. Garden ground mine, eh? Okay, yeah, it's probably going to go too fast. We're going to sit it all the way to the end here. There's no shoot up here, but I got something that's called an imagination, and I'm going to just imagine that there are... There's a shoot there. One, two, three, four. Yeah, just about five fit under there pretty well. Uh, so that's five, right? Did I count that right? One, two, three, four, five. Yeah. So six. Seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, right here. Uh oh, but you know what? I'm not gonna be able to back it up. Yeah, because I was thinking, well, I mean I could I could back all the way down and then come back up with them. Chachi chachi. <laughs> I don't know, is that is that what I want to do? See, I was hoping I was going to be close enough here where I'd be able to sneak it up over into there. Uh, the other action would be, able to, would be to uh, pull all of them back this way. I wouldn't be able to do that anyway. Yeah, so that's what we're going to have to do. Okay, now is this 17 right here? It's not going to make a big difference uh, because uh, obviously 35 is not going to be split evenly anyway. So we'll, we'll go right there. There we go. And now we'll back it up. Okay, now there should be, what, 20 here now? 21. Uh, how did I do that? So there's two. Oh, because of the caboose, I forget. Yeah, okay. So, yep, I did it. I did it. I cut it correctly. Now I can back up. Some more. Some more faster. Alright, so let's go back here. Now, do you do you hear the bell? Why am I getting that crackling noise now? I don't know. No. You can't get the bell because the caboose is considered to be at the front of the train right now. Okay. Oh, 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 we're, we're going too fast now. Didn't notice that. I would have suddenly slowed out to 25 like that. That's weird. There we go. And then we're going to run back up this track here, stick five coal cars under that side, and then... There should, there's going to be enough room for me to keep jumping back and forth on that uh, crossover track that's right up near the tipple. So that's that's my plan of attack. Alrighty, let's go over this way. There we go. Yeah, I'm getting a lot of crackling. 
Cracklin Oat Bran. All right. Makes me wonder, is it just my speakers, or are you guys hearing that crackling now, too? I don't know. Seems odd that it would all of a sudden show up. There we go. And stop probably too late. Yep, just a tad. Somebody break out the oil, would you? All right, here we go. Well, that was a long stop. Is it because the caboose is up front? That's why we're getting the crackling? I don't know. All right. Juice it back to 75. Now, let's go up here and uh, make sure that I got this all set now correctly. That's normal, normal, and this should be normal. It's not, it's reversed, now it's normal. Okay, yeah, so once I shove these into here, then you see I can go move five up here, come over here, move five up here, and I keep jumping back and forth, back and forth, back and forth. Uh, the problem is gonna be is that we have so many cool cars to fit uh, fill, there's not gonna be enough room up here. What am I going to do with the coal cars when I need to move them out of the way? Probably just shuffle them back into the line that's in behind the other one. Yeah, 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 that's going to work. Holy snap, crackle, pop. All righty. Trying to get that crackling to stop, but it's not. Anything I try is not working. Workling, I mean working. You're just gonna have to put up with it. If I gotta listen to it, you guys gotta listen to it. Here we go. Okay, we are now exceeding the speed limit. Slow back down. Here we go. I think we're in range now okay makes me want to if, if it is a caboose causing it I'll drop the caboose off here on the Y for the next time we work him so we I don't gotta hear that crackling alright here we go up and through whoa geez that was kind of a wonky turn right there. Go. into the belly of the beast. Alright, line, line this up under the coal chutes. These here, plus the imaginary ones that are over here. Now, if you don't like the fact that you have to imagine coal chutes here, no. this just may not be the channel for you. And I'm looking over at my scorecard, and I have now checked off that I used my catch line during the film, or the video. Okay, there we go. He's all set up now. They are going to start filling those. Uh, and while they're filling those, I'm going to put you guys on pause, and we'll figure out what we're doing next. It is Thomas's turn. <clears throat> this is not Thomas. This is Frankie. A long time ago in a episode far, far away, someone asked me, when's that one train that uh, 
K4 ever going to move? It's been sitting there since you started this series. Well, today's that day. Today it is going to move. Uh, this one comes from Clifton Forge, and we are going to move it into the service yard uh, that's up there in Hinton, just down the road here. All right, so first we're going to apply the handbrake. You know, we can't do it that way. There we go. We're going to apply the handbrake. Then we're going to decouple it. Okay. Oakley dokley. Uh, now let, let's uh, throw the first few switches here to get it going. This one should be reversed. 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 And then forwards. Uh, well, let's continue down the track. Please render in. Please render in. Please render in. All right, here we go. Right down here. That should be normal. Now, I, can we do it? I always run into this. Can we do it by going down this track? The answer to that is no. Well, maybe. <laughs> over here, over here, over here, over here. See, I didn't say please render in enough times. Yeah, he's not gonna be able to make it. So we'll, we're, we'll go in. We'll go in next to the uh, next to the station here. All right. So this one should be normal. This one's gonna be reversed. This one's gonna be reversed. These people are gonna get blown back because we're going by at sixty mile an hour, easy. Uh, then uh, I think we want normal and then reversed and then reversed. Uh, yeah, 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 yeah. Then we want to go normal. First, first. This is what people tune in for. Me uh, saying normal and reverse about 100 times. Uh, so this is uh, reverse and normal. And then over here. Yeah, we can stick it over the, the, tar, the tar pits. I mean, the uh, this is not Labrea. This is uh, the ash pits. Now, the thing is, though, is that this train is kind of half on, half off. So maybe we don't want to put it on that track. We'll put it on this track right here. The problem with that is, is that Thomas is in the way. Thomas, guess what, buddy? You got to get out of the way. All righty. So let's uh, start with Thomas here. All righty. Here he goes. That's like that. That's like this. And then we're going to put this. Oh, yeah, no, it's supposed to be like that. And then this. Is we're going to switch over here. This switch looks weird. Yeah, and then he should be able to steam right through here. Right? Yeah. Once we get uh, Frankie on the move there. All right. My main man, Thomas. So once we get him over here and out of the way, Frankie should be coming up this way, if I remember correctly. We'll have to throw that one back the other way, and then he should be going right on the track that uh, Thomas came off of. So it should line up nicely. There we go. Slow him down. He's right there. Right now, that, this, this did work out, right? This way, and then, yeah, this way. So he's over these ash pits, not not that ash pit there. Although it's all the same pit, they're just connected underground. But you know what I mean. Ash pit track. Oh, yeah, I can't hit that button because we are not in, 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 in control. I hit a two. Look at that. It's all gone. It's all gone. There he is. He's way over here. Okay. Okay, buddy. Let's get a roll on here, huh? Here we go. Now, here's a question. Does this, if I were to stay on this track all the way down, wouldn't that be the better way to go? Why am I switching over to this track? Why wouldn't I stay on that? Let's see where that track goes. Why can I suddenly not picture as to where this track goes? There we go. I'm still getting that popping noise. 
just go the fuck with it. Well, it's not the caboose. Here we go. Down the track. I was distracted there for a second. Uh, a, uh, there's somebody, I think there's somebody knocking on my door. You know what I'm going to do? I'm going to put the game on pause. I'm going to put you guys on pause. Find out what's, somebody, somebody's knocking on my door. Hold on. And I'm back. Of course, for you guys, it was like just a fraction of a second, right? Well, maybe, maybe a full second. Uh, let's put this back in here. Okay, there we go. Uh, so, uh, yeah, it was the Amazon driver, and I was kind of perturbed. Usually they just knock and go, but if they were knocking, I thought maybe I had to sign something or something. And just, no, here, here's your package. Like, are you new here? But anyway, I didn't say that. No, I would never be that mean to anybody. Uh, but, uh, so, uh, I was kind of annoyed at first, but then turns out they were delivering some of my train decor that I ordered off Amazon. There's this metal, it's, it's like, a bit bigger than a license plate, but it's a metal uh, sign with a painting of a uh, old, you know, a, a train going on, an old steam train going on, carrying a bunch of boxcars uh, or pulling a bunch of boxcars. I gotta tack it up on my wall here next to my computer with my other uh, decor, and so it's nice. It's a nice thing. Here we go. Stand back, people. We got brakes, but they're not real good. You know, they don't stop us on a dime. And I'm noticing we only have 28 minutes left until the end of the workday. There we go. All right. Over the ever-growing loud... Uh, frogs. <laughs> All right, we're going to slow it down here just a little bit. We're going crazy fast now. There we go. All right. So we got to drive this one up to the uh, pits, uh, the ash pits, and then we got to take any other trains that are already being serviced in the yard and move them forward one station. I think that the one on the ash pits there is going to have to move forward uh, to the... Uh, Water towers. I don't think it's an oil train, so I don't think it has to go to the oil refill. It's going to have to either go to a water tower or to the coal coaling tower, one or the other. All righty. Work on our way through the yard here. <clears throat> Thomas is in the perfect position. It's almost like I had this planned out. Now, we're doing exactly 15 mile an hour, and it's still telling me I'm speeding. What are we doing? 15.1, but it rounds it off? Is that what's going on here? All right. So we're going to enter into the yard here now. Here I come. Ready or not. All right. We want to stop right over the ash pits. But we can dump our ash. There we go. And we'll stop it right there. I think that's right. It's going to dump right in this area right here. 
Pretty sure that's what it that's what it does. All right. Now we got trains to move up here. Uh, this one here, is this an oil fired? No, it is not. It is a coal fired. Um, here's a question. What the heck is that thing? Is this, uh, looks like a cylinder, like, you know, like a piston. Know, is it used to push the coal forward or something? I don't know. Okay. It's the train house of mysteries. All right. So this one is all set up. Uh, I mean, all emptied out. So we want to go up to the water tower next. That's where we want to go. There we go. And, of course, the uh, water goes into the tender. All this area here is for water. Of course, I remember one of my very first episodes here on the CNO. I was trying to put the water in up here. <laughs> Somebody corrected me quickly in the uh, thing, in the uh, comments. And I look back at it, and uh, you know I, I did did some more research, if you will, looking up you know how a steam engine works. And now I I like do the face plant, you know, the palm on the forehead. Oh my god, what was I thinking when I said that? And of course the answer is I wasn't thinking. Okay, put up just a little bit more. You don't want to put it in the coal. That would be bad. There we go. Beautiful. Nice. All right, so that's that train. And then this one here, who's under the coaling tower, he has to go now to the Wata, right? There we go. All right. Now, he's not going to hit a switch here, is he? No, no, no. He's good. He's good. Okay. Forward to the water tower there, pal. There he goes. A little bit more. There we go. The old nickel plate. This engine doesn't have a running number on it. How could this engine not have a running number on it? It doesn't. What the haystacks? Is there a way to put a running number on it? View the deets. There sure isn't. Great. All right. A lot to see. I don't want to run an engine without numbers on it. Yeah, well, maybe it, when the nickel plate comes, we won't use it as a local. We'll just uh, send it only for off-road. You know, we're moving something off the map. Okay. All right, so that's done there. Uh, here, uh, you know, what we're going to have you do is we're going to have you turn off your light. There you go. Uh, are these two up here already had their lights off, did they not? Uh, this one, yes. This one, no. This one's light is still on. Turn off your light. You're not going to sit here with your light on. Don't, don't, don't try to low beam it and get it past me. All righty. All right. Now we want to go back to Thomas here. He's got to go pull that that uh, cut that uh, Frankie just left. Now it should be set for us to go all the way back that way, right? Of course, I don't think I want, I'm going to want to go on the uh, correct side of the tracks. So right. Alrighty. Okay. Uh, yeah. Okay, so this is going to go this way now. And that should be, and that should be, and that should be. When we get here now, we're going to go this way and this way. And then we're going to go 
this way and that away. And nope. And then, mm hmm. Yup. Yup. And then, y yes. And then, yes. Was this one reversed? Yeah, it was. Okay, very good. Here we go. We got the Wonder Woman train working here. Nice. Here it comes. There we go. <laughs> That's what we tuned in to see. Come on, you can do it. It's just barely keeping up with it now. Almost. Uh, there we go. That's nice. Heading back down to the Avis yard. There's also some cars that he's going to have to shunt that are on the reclassification tracks. I'll have to see if those are actually reclassified. Take care of that in a little bit. There we go. Where's the duker at? The duke picked up those... Uh, oh, jeez. Yeah, okay. Sorry, folks. Sorry for the late. Uh, he picked up those uh, boss cars and quit them on. I'll bet you 10 to 1 he's sitting back at uh, the entrance to get into uh, to get the hit in the yard. I bet you he is. All righty. Do a double cross over here. Just to get on the right side. Although we could really we could run down this left hand track. There he goes. Add a little more to it now to get us up near twenty. There we go. Nice. And late in the day, the shadows are getting long. crossing of course which I have gone over many times but it keeps getting funner every time I go over it We got a red signal because the cut sitting on the track we are headed towards. So it's probably telling us a train is in the way. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I got it. There we go. Right across. Let's slow her down here just a little bit. bit more. No, 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 that's the wrong way. A little bit more. There we go. <laughs> there was some panic clicking right there in case you didn't, didn't uh, recognize it. Here he comes. Nice. Nice slow approach. We got it, and we lost it, but we got him back. All right. Now, a uh, couple things. First off, let's see, just because I'm curious now, let's see if uh, the Duke, where's the Duke at? He's waiting to get in, just like I said he was. Now we'll go back to Graham. I mean, not Graham. No, 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 no,
That was dumb. Okay, here we go. We'll look this way and go, hmm, I wonder if it's fixed yet. Yep, it is. Oh, well, sort of. Okay, so, um, I'm looking over at the time, and we are definitely in the butter zone right now, so we're going to stop. We're also going to wait. Come on now. Come on, trains. Do me, do me a solid. How about you render all that in? There we go. Now we good. Now we're good. Okay. Um, now this uh, is going to have to be. Uh, this cut here is going to be uh, taken back to the Hinton Yard where we just came from. Uh, then it's going to have to, of course, be put on the correct tracks. But I'm noticing on here, uh, the spreadsheet has uh, indicated that there are 66 cars uh, in this cut, and 11 of them. That's right, 11 of them require repairs. So they're going to have to go over here into the repair yard. So we'll have to sort those out like we did before, right over on this track, putting the repair ones over here uh, until they're all sorted out. And then we'll continue down the track. Uh, and they'll have to go, like I said, uh, over into the repair yard. Okay. Uh, now, this uh, train came from Clifton Ford, Virginia. So it doesn't surprise me that there are that many repairs. Uh, the reason I say that is because uh, I'm pretty sure the number why we have this many repairs in this one cut is because we're experiencing some blowback. Uh, because what we were doing was uh, our guys here didn't want to fix. Sometimes we got to fix the trucks. They were just a pain to do. So what we were doing is we were taking cars, uh, lifting them, broken cars, lifting them off the rails, and then putting them on the flatbed cars that were going back to Clifton Forge. Uh, and we were stacking them like uh, too high. Uh, and therefore, those guys had a lot more work. Uh, and so they're probably not happy with us putting broken cars uh, or cars that need a repair on the back of uh, flat cars. That's really not. No railroad does that. So it's blowback. Anywho, I had a great time today doing this stuff. We saw a little variety today. Uh, why don't you like, why don't you subscribe, why don't you leave me a comment? And if you don't like the fact that I have uh, shoddy workmanship, uh, not very good work ethic when it comes to repairing cars, well, this just may not be the channel for you.